Now let us go to visual diagnosis of the chest. The topic is protruding chest and sunken chest. The thorax is especially influenced by zong qi in the lung and also the heart. Ren mai, chong mai, liver, and gallbladder channels all also influence this area. Stagnation or accumulation of qi, blood, or phlegm in the area will create distension of the chest. This can give the appearance of being barrel chested. A lack of zong qi can cause the chest area to be hollow or sunken. Jing deficiency can also manifest with a sunken chest. So if the chest is distended, that's qi, blood, or phlegm stagnation. And if it's hollow and sunken, that's zong qi deficiency and jing deficiency. The front of the chest is influenced by the lung and heart channel and by the directing and penetrating vessels. The sides of the chest are influenced by the gallbladder and liver channels. The channels influencing the chest are the lungs, the heart, directing vessel, penetrating vessel, the gallbladder and liver, which are located on the sides of the chest. The most common cause of a protruding chest is chronic retention of phlegm in the lungs. Other causes include severe chronic liver qi stagnation or blood stasis in the chest. As treatment, we use lung 7, stomach 40, pericardium 6, REN 12, REN 9 if there's phlegm in the lungs. Here we can see a picture of what a protruding chest might look like. For chronic phlegm in the lungs, the chest will be protruding. There will be feeling of oppression of the chest, cough with expectoration of profuse sputum, breathlessness, sputum in the throat, wheezing, swollen tongue with sticky coating and slippery pulse. For severe liver qi stagnation, the chest will be protruding with hypochondrial or epigastric distension, irritability, moodiness, a feeling of a lump in the throat, premenstrual tension, and a wiry pulse. For liver blood stasis, the chest will be protruding with chest pain, hypochondrial pain, abdominal pain, painful periods, menstrual blood dark and clotted, masses in the abdomen, purple nails and lips, and purple or dark complexion. The tongue will be purple and the pulse will be wiry or firm. Now let's go to sunken chest. The most common cause of a sunken chest is a deficiency of qi or yin of the lungs. A kidney deficiency may also cause a sunken chest. Here we can see what the sunken chest might look like. For lung qi deficiency, there will be a sunken chest and slight shortness of breath Slight cough, weak voice, spontaneous daytime sweating, dislike of speaking, bright white complexion, propensity to catching colds, tiredness, dislike of cold, and the tongue will be pale and the pulse will be empty. For lung yin deficiency, the chest will be sunken with a dry cough, weak voice, dry throat with desire to sip water, hoarse voice, night sweating, tiredness, the tongue without coating in the front, and floating empty pulse. For kidney yang deficiency, the chest will be sunken with lower back ache, the knees will be cold, the body will feel cold, and there's bright white complexion, weakness, tiredness, lassitude, abundant clear urination, urination at night, impotence, decreased libido, and the tongue will be pale and wet and the pulse deep and weak. For lung and kidney indeficiency, the chest will be sunken with dry cough that is worse in the evening. Dry throat and mouth, thin body, breathlessness on exertion, lower back ache, night sweating, dizziness, tinnitus, hardness of hearing, scanty urination. The tongue will be normal in color without coating and the pulse will be floating and empty. Thank you so much for your attention.